Premium. This is Dr. Sanu Shankari, a proud alumni of SDM Hassan, and uh, right now pursuing my PhD from Banaras Hindu University. I take this opportunity to thank Dr. Prasanayan Rao sir and Shaila Jayu madam for remembering me and giving me this honor of interacting with all the SDMites on this auspicious occasion of International Women's Day. All my due respect to the galaxy of great great teachers who have taught me, shaped me and mentored me during my UG days and uh, I take this uh, opportunity to speak a few words on the Women's Day. Today I feel that we are living in a very privileged world where women are achieving greater heights in any sector that you name. We have Nirmala Sitaram, Smriti Irani in the political front uh, in our country. Indira Gandhi, Jaya Lalita had set a great example of administration in the olden days. We have a woman achieving in the Olympics, P.V. Sindhu, Karna Malleshwari, P.T. Usha and we have uh, other uh, women in the uh, army, navy, uh, air forces. We are, we are having the women who are uh, flying the fighter jets. The longest flights including uh, 16,000 kilometers being uh, uh, flung by the female-led crew of Air India last year uh, was seen. Uh, uh, women are uh, achieving greater heights. Uh, women in the field of nursing, medicine, teaching, IAS officers, uh, Kiran, Kiran Bedi is a living legend and uh, we are seeing women coming up as entrepreneurs. We are seeing Muslim Dasha as a leading example, we are Indira Noi, the chairperson of PepsiCo and uh, Sugar, in, Sugar uh, Cosmetics, Mama Earth, MCure Pharma, all these things are led by the female entrepreneurs. They are not only running their company, but also they are subsidizing or uh, taking up other small startup uh, industries and uh, running their business. They are contributing a lot to the society. Uh, starting from a very smallest job, take it uh, from a sweeping uh, job to the greatest position, to the position of the prime minister, women have reached almost all the sectors. We are seeing a drastic change from the patriarchal society to the society of achievement uh, by the women. So this is a huge change. We are living, uh, living and enjoying this moment. Women are getting all the subsidies, all the reservations for their uh, efforts in any field for that matter. Uh, the women scientists are, giving, uh, are given lot many uh, supports and uh, financial aid for their research and high studies. A uh, lot many scholarships are, uh, are being provided for women who want to come up in their life. And uh, government is giving lot many loans for the women startups and uh, encouraging the women to come front and uh, um, bring a change in the social sector. So having said that, uh, all these women who have uh, achieved in their life, uh, they have uh, fought all the um, hurdles, all the battles, they have uh, broken all the stereotypes and uh, set an example and uh, given a path for the upcoming women. Uh, but at the same time, the uh, it is only a tip of the iceberg. Not all women are enjoying the same privilege. Women are still sup getting suppressed. Their talent is been still hidden inside because of many social evils that are still prevailing in the society, like the gender inequality, uh, unequal access uh, access to the primary and the higher education, unequal pay, uh, domestic violence, rape, uh, the uh, dowry, and the uh, female trafficking, the female inf infanticide. All these things are uh, few things uh, that are uh, suppressing the women come uh, to from coming to the social sector and achieving greater heights. So these are the social evils that needs. Uh, to be fought by the society as an uh, entirely uh, women need to support other women whenever any woman is in a trouble the another woman should support her and not get involved by herself in giving more trouble to her and uh, the men should also change their attitude from uh, not only looking the woman as a uh, beauty or entertainment quotient in their life 
but giving a value and respect i don't say that all the men are the same but there are few men who are object, uh, still objectifying women and not seeing the core and the worth that they are having uh, and they should come up and give a shoulder to shoulder support to the women who want to achieve in their life at least the educated women in the olden days women were not having the access for education they were not allowed to speak but today we are getting the education but post uh, after our education uh, we are not getting the lot of support by the uh, maybe the parents or the um, uh, siblings or the husband or the in-laws they are uh, always underestimated uh, if she wants to achieve something uh, do something that is not being heard or considered or uh, encouraged uh, for uh, for her so this is what uh, something that needs to change women have uh, crossed that uh, that uh, sector women have uh, achieved so many things but this society as a whole and the male fraternity as a whole has not yet completely changed uh, uh, towards the uh, development of the women people are seeing the women who have already accomplished but they are not ready to believe that their daughter their uh, their uh, sister their in uh, their daughter in law or their wife or their mother can also be one among them that is not being digested in still many of the societies women are still facing the um, different uh, kinds of the social evil every day we are hearing that women are being uh, raped uh, the many incidents that are uh, still an example for us i don't want to name all the bad incidents that have ha happened uh, even i have also faced many of them i have fought my own challenges and today i'm here uh, in front of you uh, fighting all those uh, uh, hurdles in every step of my life and i am here today speaking to you so uh, to address these issues a social uh, approach is required everybody should contribute women by themselves those who have got an education should not sit in the home they should start after getting married they should come out and uh, execute whatever the education that they have received in uh, serving the society and the mankind and the entire society should come up and give become her support system to uh, help her in achieving greater heights by this the uh, economic condition of the house will change when a house will become economically strong the society will change and the society changes the country changes and uh, the country becomes a powerful strong country where which is led by both men and women mutually respecting each other mutually contributing to the society this is the world that we should uh, that should we should look after with this small uh, message i would like to end my speech with a uh, A song that I would like to dedicate to the most uh, respected uh, role that a woman plays in her life, that is a motherhood. To all those mothers, I would like to dedicate this song. मैं कभी बतलाता नहीं पर अंधेरे से डरता हूँ मैं माँ हो यू तो मैं दिखलाता नहीं तेरी परवाह करता हूँ मैं माँ तुझे सब है पता है न माँ तुझे सब है पता मेरी माँ जब भी कभी पापा मुझे जो जोर से झूला जलाते थे मेरी नजर ढूंढे तुझे सोचो यही तू आके था मेगी माँ उनसे मैं यह कहता नहीं दिल ही दिल में सहम जाता हूँ माँ हो यू तो मैं दिखलाता नहीं तेरी परवाह करता हूँ मैं माँ 
तुझे सब है पता मेरी माँ तुझे सब है पता मेरी माँ थैंक यू थैंक यू एस डी एम इट वॉज लवली बींग विद ऑल ऑफ यू इट वॉज वेरी होमली फीलिंग I thank uh, Dr. Prasanna Rao sir for helping me guiding me in all the uh, steps of my life and being there for me uh, in every step. Thank you sir for all the opportunity and uh, happy International Women's Day to all. Thank you.